Hey guys, welcome to this coffee shop game that I'm making. It started off as a bit of a joke and was loosely based on the uh, coffee shop from Club Penguin. But um, now I've made some progress. It's been about over a month now. So I just wanted to sort of bring you along the journey and show you how it started and where I'm up to now. Starting in March, I began by sketching out roughly what the scene would look like. I used the Club Penguin uh, coffee scene as a reference for this, and then once I had finished my drawing, I sketched it up in a sprite, got it all configured in Godot, got a uh, walkable character, and added some color to it. Um, and by the end of that, it turned out decently nice. I could move around, and I had somewhat of a layout. Um, after that, though, I needed to desperately make a new character. So I sketched up this bean-like character, and attempted to make my first ever sprite sheet and player sprite sheet. Um, I wanted to add some coffee steam animations to it, and I wanted the basic up, down, left, right, walking, idle animations. So I got that accomplished, but I'm not happy with the movement still. Next order of business was to create a tile map for the cafe scene. I needed to do this because it allows the player to customize what their cafe is going to look like. And this is going to be one of the core gameplay experiences, being able to visit your friend's uh, coffee shop basically and change it how you want. Uh, the background has a proper tile map now, so I've got them as tiles and I recreated the scene. And this is just the better approach um, going forward. So that works pretty well. I've still got some Y sorting issues on the counter, but I've also got some area 2D nodes to open the, open the counter door. So I'll quickly show you this now and how it works. I haven't made any changes to the animation on the player. It still looks really cooked, but um, if you go up to the door, press E, it'll open. And I, I think I've actually redone the coffee machine. So basically you've got the bench in the background as an image and then this is its own sprite this coffee machine um, you can turn it on you can press the shot amounts you can turn it off and it's got some basic instructions so I don't know if this coffee machines too advanced to begin with but perhaps I could start off with more of a manual machine but I thought this was cool just to sort of show the direction I'm going um, yeah, obviously you need to be able to make the coffee, so that's sort of the next step. But I'm sort of tackling the game from different directions, just to sort of keep it interesting for myself. Next I needed to try get some furniture into the scene. I started off with a table but was not happy with the appearance so I tried to recreate a table and I'm still not happy with it but it's what I'm just going to roll with for now. I plan to have different tables, um, different start, a whole different starter table. I'm not really happy with this one currently. Um, but once that was in, I have my collision, it works. I sort of go behind it which is what I intend to happen and I can't walk through it, so that's sort of mission complete for the table, for now. Thank you. 
Okay, so this is present day what my game looks like. I can walk behind the counter, I can go into my coffee shop, I can... First I've got a grind animation which reduces the bean count and changes the bean sprite. I've also made this porta filter. I think that's what it's called. But yeah, basically I want it to snap into place at the top there and then that'll be used to pour the coffee. Right now I'm just using a particle effect with a brown sprite. And if we head upstairs, we've got our milk crate here and I'm using it for the coffee bean growing system. So, so far I can just plant the bean. There's not much else I can do there. Um, and I've also got some furniture which I will change in the future. Another cool feature I've added is the ability to change the background. This was actually quite simple. Um, I just modulate the, the specific tile I use for the wallpaper. So this is just a, a dev tool and I can change this as I need. But it looks nicer when it's sort of the brownie colors, I find.